Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad and Only Fishing. Today guys, I'm making a short video on the easiest way to catch big pinfish. I'm up here on the public pier, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get rigged up, show you the bait, how we do this, and we're gonna see if we can't catch some bait. Then I'm gonna go smack some big snook somewhere, so let's do it. So I like to use light gear. This is like six pound test monofilament. Um, yeah, the whole reel has monofilament on it. That way I don't have to tie on leaders if I get broke off and stuff like that. So the six pound test allows it for easy threading on the hook. Guys, we're using small hooks. These are size eight, just little pan fish hooks. Now I prefer to have the longer shanks on them. These don't have the longer shanks, but a size eight is a good size for pin fish. see how the size of that hook right there pinfish have super small mouths so you don't want to hook much bigger than that definitely not so guys I actually found some longer shank hooks in my tackle box you can see right there now this is a little bit wider hook than what I like to use so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take my pliers I'm gonna bend that so it's a little bit smaller so your longer shank hooks are gonna make it easier to take the hook out of the pinfish so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put two hooks on this line so I'm just gonna go ahead and thread the first hook on. I'm gonna pull that first hook up about 16 inches from the bottom of the line. I'm just gonna tie a couple overhand knots, just little granny knots like you tie in your shoe. Let's tie three of them. Three. You can make this a sabiki rig. You can put a lot of different hooks on there if you want. I'm just gonna put two. A lot of times I'll put three. And I'm just gonna come up to, I'm, I'm about probably eight inches from that first hook and I'm gonna tie the next one. Here again, I'm just using overhand knots. I tie three grannies, three grannies. All right, so we've got two hooks on there. So next we're gonna add a weight to the bottom. I like to use these little bell sinkers that have the wires on them. They're just easy to tie on. We can tie this guy on there however we want. Clinch knot is fine. We want that bottom hook to be close to the weight. Just tie that on with a, a clinch knot. I've got it about eh, probably six or eight inches from that first hook right there. So when you finish tying the rig, you got your sinker on the bottom, then you got your hook up about eight inches and then another hook up about eight inches from there. So usually guys, I will buy uh, frozen squid from the bait shop or I'll just have some frozen squid in my freezer. But I've got some salted shrimp here that I'm gonna try. I've never tried salted baits like this. I've got salted squid and uh, salted shrimp. So let's see if we can get some pinfish to hit this salted bait. I mean, those are very, very small pieces. You don't need a big piece for a pinfish. So there we go guys we're just gonna just tip the hook with that small hook very small piece of bait and we'll see how well this salted shrimp works so usually during the summertime you can get around any pier in florida or get around grass flats and you're gonna catch pinfish they're really they're very plentiful during the summertime problem we have in southwest florida is red tide wipes out all the pinfish so i don't know we'll, we'll see if we can find some big ones here today here we go targeted species right there he hit the second hook so you guys can see why i like to use those long shank hooks it just makes it so easy to take the hook out of the pinfish and there we go we got us some bait nice went ahead and put me some water in my bucket when i was down there so put this guy in there you always got to have an aerator for pinfish if you keep them in a bucket like this get these guys at walmart pretty cheap all right guys i'll put a link in the description area and also in this video i have several videos that teach how to catch pinfish or how to keep them alive i've got one that shows like three or four different methods for catching pinfish i also have another video where i teach you guys how to keep bait like shrimp or pinfish alive for days and days and days so all right let me see if i can catch some more here 
The reason you put the weight on the bottom, you're able to feel the bite better because the hook is more of like on a free line area. Whenever you get a hit, you'll be able to feel it. You don't have that weight to contend with in front of the hook. It's actually behind the hook, so you feel the bite better. Nice, got us a spade fish. And fish on. Took a while, but we got them. The thing about the thing about these pinfish when you find them, as soon as it hits the bottom, you have to be ready. That's how fast they grab the bait. So you really have to pay attention to the tension in your line. When that, that weight hits the bottom, your line will go slack. You gotta tighten up immediately and be ready. Here we go again. Just hit the bottom. Well, oh, he's on it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, guys. We caught five pinfish. Four of them are pretty decent size. I don't know. I'm not real impressed with salted baits there. The uh, salted shrimp was getting them, but fresh shrimp, definitely better. Have a better flavor, uh, fragrance to them. The kid next to me, he was using fresh shrimp. He was getting bites, just pulling them out one right after the other. He, I wouldn't get nearly the, the action that he was getting. But anyway, we got them. So, all right, guys, I hope you learned a little bit about catching pin, pinfish. Thumbs up or appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Upload videos all the time and click that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!